Hi, welcome to the first of our intermediate tutorials in our WarioWare DIY video series. I'm going to introduce some new elements to expand on what we showed in the beginner videos. And to illustrate these cool new elements, I'm going to start in this first video by showing you some graphic creation techniques, import functionality, and a neat tip for creating music. So let's get started. So starting from scratch, let me begin by laying down a background for our desert environment using the DIY graphics tools. I'll use the line tool and fill tool to get the basic backdrop. I'm also going to create a custom palette. And I'll use that palette now to fill our desert space with it for a rugged sandy look. So now I'm going to create art for our spider. And what I'll do is I'll pick a red color and I'm going to use another one of our shape tools for circles and ovals and I'll lay down the body for the spider. And adding another cell now, that'll allow us to create some animation for the spider. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first cell and just copy it over to the second. Now in addition, I can use the move tool to frame the spider again and in the second cell I'm just going to transpose it a bit so that when animated it gives the impression of a real moving spider. Next I'm going to grab a pen and use the color black to draw in spider legs. Now in the second cell, what I'm going to do is use the trace tool so that we can reference the art from the first cell. And that way I'll be able to draw in the spider legs to make them look like the anime. And we can remove the trace tool display and then switching back and forth we can see how it looks when it animates. Next I want to add an enemy for our spider to munch on, but we're not going to draw it. We're going to import it. That's right, in DIY you can borrow any of the assets in any micro game or even music from any of DIY's records to be used in whatever you're making. If you're good at programming AI but bad at drawing, borrow some art from a Metroid game. If you're good at art but terrible with music, you can grab some grooving tracks from another game. Anyway, let me show you how to import an enemy for our game. Now going into the DIY shop, remember that any assets from any of the games can be imported. We'll go ahead and jump into a Zelda game, and from the assets available here, I'll pick out an enemy that I think will work well for my game. So, back here in the graphics area of the home screen, we've got all our assets ready to go. Now, having completed our assets, we have a good feeling for the setting and characters in our game. I want to go ahead and take a quick little break before we finish to show you a cool way to create music for your game. Here in the music area, you'll find this little guy. This is the maestro. We're going to use the maestro to create music for our game. And here's the song that he's created for us. Now, I'm the type that likes to create melodies, but I struggle with coming up with good beats or bass lines. So what I like to do is have the maestro come up with a song for me, then I go in and replace just the melody section. I can go in and find an instrument that I like. Okay, yeah, I like this guy here. Then I just place notes to fulfill my creative, melodic vision. The maestro can really help carry some of the load in music creation, and you can take on whatever element of the music you want and let him do the rest. Okay, let's hear what it sounds like. Or we can play back the whole song with the backing parts that the maestro created for us. Not too bad if you ask me. So that's it for the first part of our spider game. We learned some new graphical techniques and we just touched on importing. We also learned about using the maestro to help create music. In the next video, we're going to start putting all of our elements together into an actual playable game. So be sure to check it out. See you then.